would learn a few tricks here and there and go to different summer camps that you know people would trade tricks and started learning coming up with some of my own techniques and making up my own tricks so it's fun we got two and we got three all right now was this for you got to be honest with me okay was this your card that wasn't the card no no all right, put your hand on top of it. This hand right here. There you go, just like that, okay? This was your card then. No, that wasn't the card either? No. You sure? No. You guys aren't lying to me, are you? No. All right, same thing. Put your other hand on top of the deck. All right. So, you got two hands on the deck. Neither are your card, right? I think it got under this hand. Did you lift this hand up? Mm -hmm. Did you lift it up? No, it's been there the whole time? Yeah. Take a look. Is that your card? Yes. So everybody. Nice job, you know. First and foremost, it was a good icebreaker for a lot of different social events, whether it's big league spring training or events like this where we can show the kids. And, was able to incorporate it in some of my public speaking and things of that nature. So it just has been an all-around good thing that people tend to enjoy, and I like seeing the reactions of a lot of people's faces. I got all the four fours in the deck, okay? And I've got the black fours on the inside, okay? The red fours are on the outside. See that? Black fours. I'm just going to go. I'm going to blow them apart. The red fours are going to go to the inside and the black fours are going to go to the outside. You ready? This is quick hands. You got to pay attention, OK? Oh, Ooh, I even blew it with the, the red four, the black fours. And I blew it so hard that the red four went out. And now I'm going to blow them back. So the red fours are going to go back to where they were, and the black fours are going to go back into the inside, OK? See that? 